Let's talk about the Mets, one of the teams that you used to manage, and things are not looking good. The injury list is long, lengthy, disabled list. Guys, are the bodies are stacking up, Bobby. And I know it's early, but considering how far out they are from the division and how far out they are from the wild card, is it the responsible thing for GM Sandy Alderson to start thinking about selling off some pieces to this team and really gear up for next year? You have a lot of players who are in their contract years. Great be with you. Yeah. It's a <laughs> heck of a nice we, question to we start We don't this have a lot of time. Yeah, I, I know. I, I got right it. into it. But yes, I think I think yeah, the answer is yes. You know, when you're 12 and a half out of uh, the wow. wild card and 10 and a half out of first place, and uh, you know, there's no real hope that your closer is coming back this year, which was the demise of the team, and their star pitcher still being hurt. Uh, uh, it's time to try to retool and see what the future's like. Yes. Curious when you see Terry Collins, who's in a very tough situation oh. when he has a lineup that is completely decimated, but we know how much egos play in the locker room. When you have a manager who is on the last year of his contract, maybe the players start to lose a little bit of confidence. Does that really cut into the message that he sends in the clubhouse? Probably. Yeah, you know, uh, even though the, the players, I don't think they're – really focusing on the manager. They focus on themselves and their team uh, as much as possible. But uh, yeah, I think it cuts into it. I think it's a very difficult uh, situation. Being the last year at contract A, but losing the people that he's lost and thinking that you're going to be in New York and you're going to compete and have Washington running off the way they are, it's, it's a very difficult situation. The comparisons between the Nationals and the Mets will always be there because they are division rivals. And when you look now at Matt Harvey and his arm just really looks shot at this point, then you look at Steven Strasburg and his arm looked like it was potentially saved by the team really not extending him past an innings limit. Meanwhile, Harvey... The team did push him in the postseason, and they made the World Series in 2015. But do you think the Mets ultimately regret that and pushing wow. past the innings yeah. limit? I know it's tough in hindsight's 2020, but do you think they do? They probably regret the fact that uh, he's injured. I don't know if they necessarily blame themselves. I, I think injuries are something that you, you can't necessarily blame unless it's someone stupid like myself running into a wall and then you just blame that on stupidity. But, uh, you know, you know, otherwise I, I don't think that the, the injuries are the fault of anyone. 